hello all welcome to the channel today we are going to discuss the basic interview question you could be asked like what is the state of the application or how many states the application can basically have or a life cycle of an application so in that you have to tell the interviewer about a basic cycle that the state cycle app follows from its not running state to the suspended or the background state so we have a normal cycle that we have but the app has basically four sta five states that could be not running foreground inactive active background and suspended so you have to explain them like how they work and what are the starts we can have who's the starting point what are the ending points and how the cycle can be so basically if i draw a rough diagram here is our basic app is not running basically the when the user has not clicked on that particular app simply the app is on your home screen or something then we once the user let's say is has clicked on that particular app okay so it's just like he has opened that particular app and the app is visible to your eyes in that scenario you can say the app is inactive why it is foreground inactive you just opened your app but you are not performing any actions the app is on your screen it is on your eye visible to your eyes but you are not performing any actions okay so no here we can say no actions are being performed in this scenario so this is a basic foreground inactive now here is a basic foreground active here as the name suggests it's mean like the app is in active state the user is continuously performing some operations or there are some actions or something is being performed the user is interacting with the app okay let's say you got a phone call or you get a notification in that scenario you might go again into inactive state because you might get the notification and you might go to that particular app or you can just see the notification by using a swipe and see what are the full contents and go back or let's say you got an otp message in that scenario you have to first read the otp from the messages from the top from the notification at that particular time when you see this is your phone and you get this particular notification at the top here or you are getting any phone call in those scenarios the app will go from active state to inactive state that is in the it is still in the foreground it is in the view but the user is not interacting due to some top over elements that have taken place there could be a phone call or there could be some sms that you have a notification on okay now another that we were talking about is background so what background happens here so let's say now you have got some phone call and now you are interacting with that particular person and you open that phone call screen in the full mode in that scenario now your app is going into the background because there is it is you can say not visible this app is not visible to your eyes you cannot see that app that screen is not visible in that scenario it is in the background state but once you can go from background to foreground and active again you can again bring the app you can see it on your phone then it is again in foreground in active state there could be some scenarios like you forgot to kill the app and that app is still in the system okay from it was in the background let's say it was downloading something or you had some operations that has to be performed and you were waiting for the app in the background or let's say you have your music application that is in the background it is playing music for you there are some chances we can have and after a certain time you have like you are not using that app particularly there could be scenarios your operating system might require some free memory or it requires some free threads and it sees the app is in the background and for a certain time the user has not opened the app and it is in the background not performing any download or some functions it is just in the background and it is idle in that scenario the operating system can suspend the app in order to release the thread the memory the cache memory that is required for its perf operations that it needs to perform with higher priority in that scenario the app can go into suspended state after certain time from the suspended state also if the app can come back to the running state if the user come back to the app if it does not comes the operating system kills that app and it goes to not running state okay so there could be a scenario okay and there is one more that i want to draw a line in between there is 
directly we can put the app like we came into the background and from the background we kill the app using app switcher so directly also we can kill the app and it can go into not running state and there could be scenarios where operating system suspend that app seeing it has been idle in the background for a long period of time and seeing like it is from suspended state also it is not been used by the user for a certain time so it can suspend the app from suspending state to not running state so not running is basically the app is been killed it is nowhere in the memory okay so this is the scenario we have to see like this is a life cycle so let's say we cannot skip like directly from foreground active we cannot directly go to suspended or from foreground active we cannot directly jump to not running so this is a particular cycle that every app has to follow and it has to go through let's see like let's say there is a scenario you got a phone call so first your app was running okay you were performing some functions over here you got a phone call it's not directly it will go into the background first there would be inactive state now why the user stopped doing any action on it because they have got a notify there was a notification so from foreground inactive it will go to the background okay from the background directly you can kill the app if you want or there could be suspended it will see if it is not been used for a particular time duration then it might go to not running so directly you cannot go from not running to active state or directly you cannot go to active state to suspend it there are no you have to follow this cycle and this chain this is how a basic app has to run so this is the video like you can explain to the interviewer like these are the states we can have so there could be some scenarios like let's say in the background there could be batch fixes like you can have some batch work that has been done like some update the server after every 6 hours in some scenarios so after every 6 hours the basically we can say update server is after every 6 hours app will run in background to update the servers after every 6 hours and their rest in the rest time it is not in running state okay there could be scenarios so it will be directly coming to the background and it would be basically going into not running so here it are the states it can be because it will go to suspend and then it will go to not running and directly the user might kill so there are some scenarios we can have it like how we want to make our app work upon it so in swift ui and ui kit we have all those scenarios that are being covered so what happens in swift ui you can have it basically the swift ui your life cycles could be background active and inactive so you have these background states that you can manage directly in swift ui but you want a more control you want to check like uh, the app did resign active app will resign active app did terminate so you can in swift ui also you can extend to app delegate and those app delegate functions can help you to use them but if you are not that very particular you can just close them and you can use your these states also they are pretty helpful and in the ui kit you have basically all those app delegates and scene delegate that could be used and you can have a very like extreme custom control on like how your app wants to behave so you can learn those like they are many like app will go app will resign app will resign active will terminate will did enter foreground did finish launching with options so we have so many but the basic flow and the cycle remains the same you have to follow this like methodology and something you have so when i was telling you like let's say you have one more instance the interview might ask like it's there is an alarm and you kill the alarm app but at 6 am in the morning how does it starts so in that scenario you have to tell in this we submit the, to the operating system the operating system goes to the app and it directly turns the app on for it to work on the background tracks that is we have submitted and so from not running state it will start into foreground inactive and then it will be active with the notifications or with the screen that we have in the alarm and then we can perform the functions and we can kill suspend and then again in the same loop we can have in those scenarios where there are batch fixes like let's say after every six hours or let's say there are alarms or there are some reminders we have to submit the operations to the operating system like how you have to start the app or you have to trigger the app in those scenarios but this is the basic thing that you have to learn for the day i hope you like this video if you like this video do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos